also at least thousands of cases that go unreported. So what happens if the disease goes undiagnosed for too long? And how can you protect yourself and your family from tick bites like this? Fox 61's Lindsay Kane sits down with one woman who is turning her battle with Lyme disease into a message for others, urging people to know the signs before it's too late. It's kind of a quiet epidemic. They don't talk about how dangerous a tick bite can be. <laughs> For Elena Zijak and her family, a small tick bite changed their lives forever. And years later, the damage is still being overcome. I had tremors. I was shaking like I had Parkinson's. I went undiagnosed for the next 11 years, but I became a sickly child. She was tested for multiple diseases, including Lyme disease, but it wasn't until 2013 she was finally diagnosed with Lyme disease and at that point had been living with the disease untreated for over a decade. Dr. Patrick Cahill with Hartford Hospital says it's the most common tick-related illness in the nation and was first detected here in Connecticut back in the 70s and while uncommon, can cause neurological disorders and nerve paralysis if it's untreated. Lyme disease, especially if it goes untreated for some time, can lead to some sort of autoimmune reactions and can cause some of the um, longer term manifestations. Experts say 10,000 people per week contract Lyme disease across the nation, but that number here in Connecticut could be 10 times more than the actual amount because many cases go unreported. Chris Fuentes, the 